Hello guys, Survival Technology here. Hey, this will be a quick video on monitoring the PSK-31 on 20 meters using a Droid PSK and the FT-817. The interface that we're using today is the uh, Wolfie Link. It's connected through the uh, digital port of the FT-817. And uh, there's a cable coming out and going into the mic and uh, speaker input on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 8.9. So we'll go ahead here and just click on one of the streams. Here's more power. Now the application is pretty easy to use. Uh, there's a few silly things about it that I don't like, but um, for the most part, this is a magnificent program uh, for the Android platform. Um, it reduces your need for the uh, a big laptop and power supplies and the batteries associated with them and minimizes your setup to a tablet or a smartphone and the FT817. We could do the same thing with this smartphone here rather than using a tablet and that would uh, reduce your station and size even further. Let's go ahead and click another station here. I'm not transmitting now because I'm using a dipole for 18 meters. So I'm just uh, receiving the signals on 20. 18 meters is my favorite band. It wasn't open uh, at the moment. Uh, so I switched over to 20 just to make this video. Let's uh, go ahead and choose another stream here. You can see that the text that's being transmitted is coming down and being uh, buffered here. If we were transmitting, we would, uh, of course, set up these macros first, uh, unless you want to operate with a, a keyboard in real time and, uh, and have a keyboard chat over PSK31 or PSK63. That's also possible. I don't have the Bluetooth keyboard here, so we're not going to do that. But uh, if you're having a QSO, you would go ahead and enter the call sign and other relevant information up here. Uh, and using the macros, when you reply to uh, uh, to the uh, sent data, uh, all of the information will be automatically inserted in there. Now these macros can be customized as you like, and uh, actually they work out uh, pretty well. Um, I have to say that editing the macros is uh, it's not very intuitive. Uh, but it's workable. It's not something that you want to do in the middle of a QSO, so you definitely want to try and set it up uh, uh, before you start operating. So as you see down here in the waterfall, each one of these streams is a different station. I can take this one. And once you you uh, select the stream that you want to view, uh, you start to see their text coming in on your display there. Here's another stream. Now I have to say, I really like this application. I really like that uh, Wolfie LLC. Um, that they're doing a wonderful job with developing uh, apps for digital modes with Android. Um, no more giant computers, no more crazy USB interfaces. If you're an Android user, this is your station. You have an audio interface, you have your radio, uh, and you have your uh, tablet or smartphone. It's that simple. Click on another stream here. Anyway, like I said, just a quick video. We'll make another video later on uh, when 18 meters is open or when I put up another antenna. Maybe I'll do that this weekend. Uh, we'll make another video where we're having a queue. So. But uh, stay tuned for other uh, videos uh, uh, with digital modes and Android and the FT-817. Rock and roll. Thanks a lot. Ciao.